Hey there, everyone. We're here today to show you a little bit more about applying to partner with Omni or applying for a customer service work from home role. So what does that exactly mean? So let's go ahead and go to the omniinteractions.com website. And no matter how you hear about us, you are going to um, end up finding a job listing essentially. But when you apply, um, you're not applying for a job with Omni. You are applying to contract with our clients. So if you read this text on this screen, joining Omni Interactions as an independent contractor, you're gonna gain access to a variety of exclusive contracts. So you have to apply first to see if you even qualify to get access to these contracts, right? So all these available opportunities you see here listed, in the different countries, um, you're gonna pick the one that's right for you. So uh, we're gonna go through working from home, customer service rep in a contractor role. Remember, this is not you applying for a job. You are applying to be a business owner or a 1099 contractor. We call them gig brand ambassadors. And so you're gonna be directed to this page. It's gonna look different on a mobile device. So if you click on this on a mobile device, it's gonna look a little different. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit, make it a little bit easier to see. So the first thing you can see here is there's an apply now button on the upper right hand side, and there's a header overview, important. Click on the link below and download the gig contract overview for review before registering. Why is this important? Because we want you to know what you're signing up for. There's a lot of text down below the PDF is going to give you a really good summary of everything that you need to know before you decide if this is for you. So let's click on this link. It's going to open up in a new window. It's going to ask you to save it. So we'll save it to my desktop. It's going to open it up. I'm using Chrome. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to read. It's a four page. Well, it's really, really three pages with the header. So let's go here. The first locations we source from. Let's look at some of the asterisks. Um, asterisk here. What do I need to know? Not all clients partner with contractors in all Omni states. Okay, great. If I am in Tennessee or Texas or North Dakota, awesome. But if I'm in California and I apply, I'm not eligible to partner with Omni. And this is one piece of information we're trying to let you know of here. Scroll down, computer skills required. I have to be able to type 30 words a minute. I have to be able to use a computer. Customer service, work from home, provided on a computer. You have to have a computer. A contractor looking to get paid for work brings their own equipment to the job, right? So this is us outlining what you already need to have before you decide that this opportunity is for you, right? A work from home job, whether you're an employee or a 1099 contractor, those are very different, right? As a 1099 contractor, we want, you need to come to us with the equipment already. We're not going to provide you equipment. You have to have equipment already. High speed internet has to be hardwired, no Wi-Fi. All of this information is here, and we're going to ask you questions when you apply to make sure that you've read this document and you understand what you're signing up for. Because here's the thing, when you understand what you sign up for, then you're going to have much fewer questions down the line, right? So you make it through the stage, great. What's next? You sign up for contracts, right? So understanding just the basics of how Omni operates and what you already need to have is going to really help you right now as you go through and apply. You're going to help take this information and tie it into the application process and making sure that you are telling Omni, yes, I have all of these things. Yes, I can meet all of these requirements. Yes, I'm agreeing to these terms and conditions of the contract to partner with Omni and Omni's clients. So you're applying for an opportunity to work with Omni. And then later, if you qualify, we will send you a link to a list of all of our client contracts. So there's two steps. This is step one, applying for partnership or applying to generally contract with Omni. And then you'll have a second application later, but we'll talk about that in a different video. So computer skills, home office requirements, fully updated Windows PC. Some companies, some clients of ours do allow Apple computers, but most of our clients, they look for people with Windows devices. Um, you need to have a certain amount of processing speed. You have to have a certain size of memory on your computer. That's what RAM is. Hard, a hardwired high-speed internet connection. That's because wireless, there's an interference. There's bandwidth pull from other users in your home. Um, there's a certain minimum speed, upload and download. And you need a corded USB headset. Uh, you notice I'm not wearing a headset. I have a microphone that I've attached to my computer. Uh, that could work if there's no echo. Um, but the corded USB, it's actually corded to my computer. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video, but it's a... Uh, corded here to the computer, right? Um, so that could be an option, uh, but again, corded USB headset's gonna give you the best sound quality. Um, 
We're going to eventually ask you to fill out some paperwork, uh, verify your identity, right? So these are all steps in the contracting process. There's a background check, um, $40 che background check fee. We might have to have you do more than one background check, but the fee you pay um, only uh, goes to our vendor, doesn't go to Omni. And you only pay a portion of the overall cost of your background check. As a contractor, um, this is you showing us your commitment. Um, it's a business expense, right? It's tax deductible. Uh, so make sure you keep your receipt because you can write this off on your taxes. Um, one of the other really important things for you to know at, before you sign up to earn money on the Omni platform servicing our clients is that there's a certain number of hours you must schedule and tell us you're going to be working in two weeks from now. So if you were to be scheduling your week in two weeks from now, so it is um, middle of September, I would be looking at my schedule for the end of September, beginning of of October to say, these are the hours, days of the week, times of day, I'm gonna be able to pick up a shift. I will be here servicing the client. And the minimum expectation in the business model is 18 hours a week scheduled and worked. And if or when the client you are servicing, the demand goes up or down, we will tell you in advance so that you can adjust your schedule and expectations accordingly. One of the benefits of working gig, instead of being uh, a W-2 employee, is that you have flexibility, right? Doctor's appointments, you need, you know, work-life balance, you need to pick up your kids, you need to take a class. Um, you know, you're not a morning person and you want to work afternoons and evenings, or you're a night owl and you want to, you know, work in the morning, earn your money and be done. This is where flexibility is so, so important. And, and really is the benefit of being a contractor is the flexibility. And, you know, the fun part of supporting customers, right? We really believe that we're bringing you clients that are very fun to work with and they're, they challenge you, but they're also enjoyable, right? So the service commitment, you know, that we outlined here, you know, is picking up hours two weeks in advance, minimum of, of 18 hours is the business expectation. And then, you know, if the business needs change, we'll let you know. And then there is this concept called commitment adherence, right? So we just talked about the hours you schedule. Commitment adherence is, do you actually work the hours you schedule, right? We ask that you schedule your hours two weeks in advance so the client and its customers knows there will be somebody on the other end of that phone when they call, right? So this chart outlines, you know, if you schedule yourself to work from 10 to 1030, but you only work from 1005 to 1030, then your adherence to the commitment you've made is only 83% of the 100% available option, right? And if you're scheduled to work 1030 to 11, you actually work 1030 to 11, you're 100%, you're scheduled 10, sorry, 11 to 1130, and you work 11 to 1127, you're 90% adherent, um, and so on and so forth, right? And so this is a calculation of an example of hours you scheduled versus hours you worked. You only get paid for the hours you work. Hours you scheduled are what you're telling us you're going to plan to work. And then what you work is what you actually work, what you actually get paid for. And that leads us really nicely into how earnings are paid. Payment platform, gig wage. This is huge. You get payments processed every week, one week in arrears, which means uh, behind, right? So if you look at a calendar and you look at exactly, let's look at a 2023 calendar and I'll show you exactly Okay, so let's look at a calendar as an example, shall we? So let's go to September. Um, so we are in this um, second week of September. So this is the 14th. We actually just submitted earnings to get paid out Tuesday, and um, most of our contractors receive their payments on Wednesday. This is for hours worked the week of August 28th. Our weeks run Monday through Sunday. So all of the hours you worked, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So those are the hours through September 3rd, somebody got paid for this week. We went through, approved the hours, they got submitted and they got paid out. So you get paid a week behind. That's what that means, a week in arrears. So let's go back. We want you to understand payments get processed behind, right? All companies are like this, whether you're a W-2 employee or a gig worker, payments are processed behind, right? Because there's time needed to review the hours worked, compared to you know, the data sources. And then there's options for payment, direct deposit and debit card with same day payments available. That's how you get paid so quickly. This is an overview of everything you need to know, the details about partnering with Omni and what the platform is.